Hey everybody, welcome back to the part-time homestead. It's a little stormy out here today, a little windy and rainy. But anyways, so I did it. I ordered my first bees, so I'm going to be a beekeeper soon. They're gonna ship on Monday, they should be here Tuesday or Wednesday, and I've never had bees before, I've never dealt with bees before, I'm pretty inexperienced. And uh, hopefully I'm gonna take you guys along for the ride and uh, you can see some mistakes, learn from my mistakes. Hopefully we don't make a lot of mistakes. So basically there are a couple types of bees that, that are available. There are Italians, Carniolans, and Russians. So everywhere you go, everywhere you read, or anybody that you talk to or ask is gonna always recommend Italians for beginners. They're milder bees. They're just, they're just a good all around bees and they're not very aggressive, perfect for beginners. Then you've got, on the other side of that, you've got the Russians who are like super producers, they're very, uh, I don't wanna say aggressive, but they're just very easily agitated. And they're not really meant for beginners, but they're, they're a good, um, good producer of honey, nice strong bees. And then you've got something in between like the Carniolans. And I think I was, when I was pondering the type of bees I was gonna get, I was definitely thinking about the Carniolans, even though I am a beginner. Um, but, after watching a lot of your YouTube videos and doing a lot of research, as a new beekeeper, there were some things I was really worried about. One being the Varroa my problem. Um, everybody deals with it, and here on my homestead, I like to try to not use any chemicals or of any sort, and I just didn't really want to have to, to deal with Varroa mites, but I'm pretty sure it's going to happen. I don't know. Um, so I started looking at Varroa resistant bees, or VSH, Varroa sensitive hygienic bees, and I ran across the bees called Saskatraz bees. And there was some, they're fairly new, there were some pretty decent reviews about them, and they're supposed to be pretty mild, very good overwintering, which is, I don't think is going to be a huge problem here in California, as we don't have snow. We do have freezing nights, but it's not as big of a problem as, you know, back east or the, the north northeast area so I was doing some research on them and they seem to be pretty varroa resistant um, I did see one thing written to where it's talking about the bees having a little bit longer leg length leg length now I don't know if that's true or not to where they're able to get them off of themselves clean them from themselves and also that they if they get into the um, the baby bee or I forget what it's called anyways that's new beekeeper stuff for you they they remove it and toss it out of the hive. So they're supposed to be pretty resistant to this varroa mite problem. Um, time will tell, I don't know. So I opted to go with these Saskatraz bees. Now, they are from Saskatchewan, Canada. It's a fairly remote location and that's how they were able to get this breeding project together. And what they are is they're a mixture of the, the bees from Canada, Russians and German bees. And they've all kind of been bred over time to single out these varroa resistant traits. Um, I'm not a scientist, I'm not into genealogy or any of that stuff, I'm just telling you what I read and the way I understand it. Um, I will put a link in this video description to like the research paper if you wanna check them out yourself. So they're supposed to be really good bees and I, I figured I was gonna give them a try. So they're on their way, they should be here this week. So I'm pretty nervous about getting bees, I've never had them before. Not a fan of being stung, um, but I'm pretty much doing this to get honey for personal use. Um, obviously, my first priority is just keeping healthy bees. Um, I was definitely concerned about bees and hive collapse and all those issues that we're having because pesticides and whatever, whatever else, just really weakening the immune system of the bees. Things that we as humans are doing. So hopefully, I'm going to be very hands off. I mean, I will be going into the hive weekly to check it out, but. I'm trying not to use any chemicals to treat, so we'll see how it goes. Um, keeping equipment that I was going to need to have. So first of all, you gotta be able to get the bees. I ordered mine online. It's a three pound box of bees. I didn't get it. I don't believe it's coming in a nucleus or a nuke package, which is just a really small hive with a couple frames in it. I believe it's just coming in a cardboard box with three pounds of bees and a queen. So I went out and I got me a hive which I still have to put together. So it's a Hoover Hive. I did a unboxing video on it, which I will also put at the end of this video if you wanna watch that. 
and I will be putting it together very soon since today is Sunday and bees will probably be here on Tuesday. So as far as basic beekeeping equipment, um, just the basics, you're going to need a suit. So I didn't get the full suit, I just got a jacket, figured Levi's would be good enough with my boots on, should be no problem, I'm hoping. And this is kind of what everybody that I've seen online is wearing, is usually just a jacket. I didn't opt to get the gloves because everybody I watch usually starts out with the gloves for the first few days and then they come off because they're thick. There's not a lot, you know, you can't really tell what you're doing. I'm just gonna like triple layer some really thin latex gloves and we'll see how that works. So I didn't get the gloves. Also, probably an essential is a hive tool. Hive tool. So I got this two pack. I haven't seen this one used very much in any videos. Um, so yeah, I don't know, but this one seems to be a very common one that they use to break the, the frames loose and pull them out. So definitely recommend getting a high tool. You don't really need to buy this. I suppose if you had just a putty knife or a putty spatula, something along those lines, you could get away without buying a high tool. And then a smoker, definitely essential, uh, especially for new beekeepers. Um, I've seen a lot of people struggle with these smokers. This is brand new, just out of the, just out of the box. It is a Honeykeeper um, smoker, my first one, so I will be trying to light this and check it out and make sure that I know how to properly use this before my bees come in. Um, yeah, it's pretty nice, um, but again, I don't have anything to compare it to because it's my first smoker. And then I also got this bee brush, which you know, it's just used to brush the bees out of the way when you're trying to put in and take the frames and get them off when you're putting the lid on just to brush them off so you don't kill any. Um, again, I don't think it's essential, but I wanted it. It's pretty nice to have, I think. I don't want to be killing bees. And then out here where I live, we have a really big mouse problem. One of the reasons why we have a lot of cats, if you've seen them running around in my videos. So I got a mouse guard to put on the hive. Um, I do have some thoughts about a different type of mouse guard, something uh, homemade that I'm thinking about. So I don't know if I'm gonna put this on right away. But again, this isn't essential. It just depends on where you live. I've seen many hives without any mouse guards on them, but being new, I was unsure. It was only a couple bucks. I picked it up. So as far as basic beekeeping equipment, hive, bees, suit, smoker, hive tool. And that's pretty much it. That's what I got to get started with, and we're gonna see how it goes from there. So, so if you're a beekeeper out there, you have experience, you're new to beekeeping, I would love for you to subscribe to my channel, follow me along with this journey. I'm gonna have a lot of questions, I'm gonna run into a lot of problems. I'm gonna need some advice and some help and hopefully somebody out there can learn along the way. Um, yeah, and that's it for today's video. Um, hope you enjoyed it. And I look forward to getting bees, look forward to seeing you again. And yeah, have a good day. Please subscribe. Thanks for watching.